Each morning in Wabasca, Alberta, the buses arrive early at Mistassini School. Students from a handful of communities trickle in but others are nowhere to be found. Attendance is pretty low. Uh, we've got kids that we've never even seen before. This particular class, 22 out of 37, absent on a regular basis, um, unfortunately. Where is everybody today? Some days taking attendance can be downright depressing. And Kimberly, Jesse, Ched, China. Where is China? Does anyone know where China is? When Benjamin Stevens left Halifax to teach in Northern Alberta, he knew he would face challenges. He just didn't expect the biggest to take place outside of the classroom. It's hard to get them out of the homes in some cases or out of whatever it is that they're doing when they're not in school. And because of the reservation situation, it's very tricky to cross those borders sometimes. This region is a patchwork of Cree communities and reservations, with a population of 4,000. <laughs> There's only one school for students in grades 7 through 12, yet it can frequently feel empty. Teachers have been trying to find a way to reach the roughly 200 children who don't come to school here. Perhaps an even greater challenge, find a way to reach their parents. Hi, I'm McKenna. And I'm Sierra. Welcome to Mustang TV. Enter Mustang TV, named for the Mustacity Mustangs. Do your part and contribute to our learning environment. Awesome, let's move on. When Stevens traveled across the country armed with his teaching degree, he brought something else, a passion for film and a belief in the power of storytelling. You need to think about what you could show that's gonna move people. That's, what are they gonna care about? How long have you been playing hockey? He pitched the idea two years ago create a TV show for the internet, and try to reach the kids who don't come to school and engage the ones who do. Alesis Crawford is in grade eight and is shooting his first television interview, a segment about the school's welding class. So what do you enjoy about welding? He just learned how to work the camera and hold the microphone, but isn't pulling any punches with his questions. Uh, what's your biggest paycheck? My biggest what? My, your biggest paycheck. Crawford isn't sure whether TV is his calling, but he is certain about one thing. I'm just trying to, trying to make something of my life. So my dad's an alcoholic and my brothers are criminals. So just, I just don't want to fall on that wrong path, especially coming from reservation life where there's bad, like, negative, there's gangs here, there's shootings, killings. Wabaska is an isolated area, but quickly growing because of oil and gas development. New money is fueling the drug trade and the gangs who fight to control the lucrative market. How big of an issue is gangs in this community? Well, I think it's, uh, it's big. These communities are struggling, so I can see why um, gangs would be a way for these, a lot of our young kids, they want to make money, they want to have the good things in life. Davith Thomas is Mustassini's principal. When he isn't in school, he's out in the neighborhoods. There's not a lot of trust between the schools and the community. That is what he's trying to change by creating an alternative. But I figure if I can create a community in the school where my kids feel safe, they'll have no reason to want to join those gangs. What's going on with gangs right now? Anything? Anybody interested in doing something like that? Destiny. We don't tolerate it, neither should you. The kids tackle some of those tough topics on their shows. To take your part and say no to gangs and violence. Speak out, stand up and keep gangs out of our school. And out, out of, of our, our community. community. They interview community members, classmates, and anyone else that happens to drop by. With us today is Briar from CBC's The National. The responsible for each part of production. So you remember we want to put both of the faces on our quadrants, right? They learn how to operate cameras, monitor sound, and then there's the highly coveted, yet nerve-wracking role of host. I'm like really shy and when I go on camera, I get nervous. But if I'm on here most of the time, I'll probably get over it. And you become more confident? Yeah. And that is Steven's biggest goal for this class. I heard him. He said, "Can't be rolling." Okay, 
very, very authoritatively. Maybe they won't develop his love for the medium, but he hopes they will learn just what they're capable of. Sometimes where you come from, there's a big gap to where you want to go, and a lot of these kids start off very disadvantaged. Uh, and it's not their faults in any way, shape, or form, but we are a product of, you know, our society, and the school, I think, has to be the voice of change. And I think the show can be a vehicle, the Mustang TV can be a vehicle for the change that we're trying to bring. Shows have been broadcast at assemblies and on the internet. For students who are already in school, Mustang TV has become a favorite. Most of the kids who don't take this class want to be in it. But building a receptive audience will likely be much tougher. We're trying to bring the parents in as well as the kids. When the parents buy in fully, then I think we'll see the attendance approve with, with all the kids. A vision they'll try to accomplish one episode at a time. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Wabasca, Alberta.